What gets painted and what doesn't? Well, in short, everything gets painted in the ceiling. All right, I know right now the lighting isn't the best down here. It has been a popular trend to finish these ceilings in dry fall. That really serves two purposes. Uh, one, it's cheaper than drywall, can be about half the cost. So there's cost savings there, but then the other purpose is that it actually enhances the height of the ceiling. I mean, can you imagine having all this HVAC stuff boxed in with soffits? It really kind of drops everything down. So if you're doing a basement remodel and being intentional, you can get everything tucked up in there nice and tight. What gets painted and what doesn't? Well, in short, everything gets painted in the ceiling. It all gets sprayed, spray finished, and then, you know, all the utilities get protected. That fire alarm right there, that'll be completely wrapped. HVAC tubing, the light bases will all be finished in black. We will be protecting the socket pole. It's pretty cool. This house, we're not using true black. We're using a color called true or green black from Sherman Williams. So, but then uh, the customer's big concern came to these areas back here in the joists. So back in these little areas, there is really not a cost effective way to insulate and close that off and have it looking nice, neat and tight. Can you imagine cutting little holes in wood and putting nice wood, you know, veneers in there? I mean, would it look nicer? Yes, in an unfinished state, it would. Even in a finished state, it would look um, slightly nicer. But the reality is, by the time we get this painted out in the flat, dark color, a lot of that wrinkling that you see um, won't be there anymore. It'll be kind of blend in to the surrounding area. You do not see that wrinkling and crackling. It all kind of just goes away because in reality, there's a lot of unsightliness in the ceiling. It's the reason that we use the dark color and a flat finish. You have a tubing, you have the wires, you have splintering in the wood. So again, all of that just blends in when we do the, the dry fall finish. Back again here in this basement in Springboro, and we have just gotten through the dry fall finishing of the ceiling, and we got a first coat of primer and repost gray on the walls right now. But the ceilings are finished. We will do no more spraying down here, even with the uh, trim going in, it'll all be done. We might spray the doors back at our shop, but it is all going to be done by hand. Exemplify what I was speaking about with those, if you can remember those metal foil, the backside of the insulation going up, that looked pretty unsightly. And you can see now with the dry fall fat flat finish, how this taken that crinkly look away and really diminished the appearance of those unsightly voids. Things just look nice, neat, finished. And again, ultimately it's cheaper um, to go this route. Keep you updated on the progress here as things kind of come together. Thanks for visiting. Talk to you guys soon.